this is going to be the part one of competitive exam preparations on electronics uh, competitive examinations okay so if you are somebody who is preparing for like vsc technical assistant or if you are preparing for some other uh, electronics based competitive examinations please keep on watching because it is going to be really useful so let us first see the questions you can see the questions on the screen and i'll be explaining uh, with the uh, you know answers uh, yeah so the first question is what is digital electronics so basically in this video we'll be covering mostly digital electronics questions okay so if you are having some preferences <coughs> So if you are having some preferences, like if you want to see some other uh, subjects or its preparations, please mention that in the comment section. We'll be doing it. Okay. So let us first see the question uh, on digital electronics. The first question is, what is digital electronics? A field of, uh, option A, a field of electronics involving the study of digital signal. B, engineering of devices that digital signal. Uh, C, engineering of devices that produce digital signal. D, all the mentioned. Uh, okay, so here the correct answer is all of the mentioned because digital electronics is uh, any branch uh, you can say which deals with digital signals. Okay, so if you are dealing with digital signals, then that is called digital electronics. Something uh, which is like the equipments that create digital elect uh, uh, signals or uh, that uses digital signals or even the study of uh digital signals we can say it is digital electronics something related with uh, some uh, electronics equipment and that either uses or produces digital signal is called digital electronics okay so the correct answer is option d where you can say it is all of the mentioned okay now next question is so the first question was a very basic question only uh and the second question is regarding some terminologies that we use in digital electronics. The question is what is a circuit? Okay. So the question is what is a circuit? A open loop through which electrons can pass. So is the open loop called an uh, circuit? Or B closed loop through which electrons can pass. C closed loop through which neutrons pass. D none of the mention. Very simply we can say it is a closed loop through which the electrons will pass so if it is an electron if it pass through this closed loop we can say it as a circuit so the correct answer is option a a circuit is a closed loop through which electrons can pass electrical energy is provided in the circuit by use of electricity such as battery okay so you can say uh, like a battery is used uh, and it provides the uh, electricity or a source and it creates you know some electrons are there and it passes in a closed loop means it is called a circuit okay so the correct answer is closed loop through which electrons pass not not neutrons okay that is the second question let us move to the third question you can see the question on screen which of the following is a type of digital logic circuit okay so these are some basic questions of digital electronics it's not complicated first question sorry first option combinational logic circuit b sequential logic circuit c both combinational and sequential d none of this now let us explain what is a combinational uh, logic circuit and what is a sequential one okay so combinational one means there is some set of inputs so these are inputs and you get output okay so this is input and this is output so this is called a combinational one combinational okay yes now what is a sequential one and how is it different so this is a sequential one in which there is input obviously there need to be inputs right then there is output and there is another one single thing one more thing which is called state you can say this is state or memory and this one is sequential one. okay so if you don't know what is a sequential one and a combination one a combinational one plus a state or a memory is called sequential. So this is, you can say a little bit progressed version of the combinational one. Okay. So that is a sequential one. In the sequential one, the output not only depends on the input, but also on the state, current state or present state. It depends, or you can say it depends on the memory. Okay, you can say this 
as a memory or a state. It also depends on the state and the input. That is output depends on input and the state. But in case of combinational one, it only depends on uh, inputs. Whatever inputs combination is giving, it will produce the output. Now, what can be the example of combinational one? You can say mux, dmux, then half adder. These are examples. Okay. Now, here, this one is flip-flops are sequential ones because it depends on the memory also of the state. Okay. So, these are examples of combinational and sequential. You can also have other examples. So, just basic uh, examples and basic difference is this. Now, what are digital logic circuits? These both, that is combination and sequence, it both comes under the digital circuits only. So, correct answer is C, both combinational and sequential. Okay. Now, let us move on to the next question. Okay. Actually, my board was being using i mean my daughter was using my board even for playing because i was not using this for quite a few years you can say so it has been in a little not in a good condition i'm trying to fix it somehow okay let's let's go and see the fourth question okay question you can see on the screen what characteristics of ic in digital circuit represent function of switching time of a particular transistor that is what characteristics of ic in digital circuit represents the function of switching time what is switching time how it is being uh, represented fan in fan out option a fan out option b fan in option c power dissipation option d power uh, propagation delay fan out and fan in it is basically the number of uh, inputs uh, or the number of outputs those things are represented with fan in and fan out but the uh, switching time of the transistor is represented as propagation delay okay it is called the propagation delay okay correct answer is option d which is the propagation delay the propagation delay is the parameter which is affected getting affected or it is represented in terms of the switching time for the transistor for undergo switching for various states it requires some time or there is a time so that is represented as propagation delay so propagation delay represents the function of switching time of a transistor or a mosfet okay next question next two questions is connected with the d flip flops okay let us see what is the question the first question is what will be the output from a d flip-flop if the clock is low and d is equal to zero so before that if you don't know about a d flip-flop let me just tell you that d flip-flop is a very basic kind of a flip-flop in which there is a, a d signal and then there is a you can say a clock there is also other representations in which s r everything is there then there is a q then there is a q bar q bar means the toggle of that so this can be represented as a d flip flop this is a very simple representation now uh, here based on the clock okay based on whatever signal or rising or you know lower edge of the clock non rising edge of the clock q next or q can get affected so if clock is rising and if zero is being given the q will take whatever out whatever input we are giving in d it will pass on to q okay and q bar will be toggle of that we won't consider we, we are not considering that right now but based on the clock well if the clock is rising then whatever d input is given output will be same and if clock is again rising if you are giving 1 to d output will be again same as the d value now if clock is uh, not rising like this if you are representing okay then whatever be the value of 
D. Output will remain the previous state. Q previous. Okay. So, like this you can say. So, if clock is up or clock is rising, if you are giving some inputs to D means that will be the same as output. But if the clock is not rising, whatever be the D value, Q will be the previous value only. Okay. Now, based on this knowledge, let us try to answer the first one. First question. Like the first question of D. So, the question is asking what will be the value uh, from D from a D flip flop means what will be the Q next value. If the clock is low means the clock is down. Clock is down and D value is equal to 0. Options is 0, B1, C no change, D toggle. Correct answer is C no change because whatever be the value on D, the output will be the previous value only if the clock is low. Okay, correct answer is C. Same question, same type of question is next question where what will be the output from a D flip flop? If D is equal to 1 and clock is low. Again, clock is low. So, options A, no change. B, toggle between 0 and 1. C, 0. D, 1. Correct answer is no change. Okay. So, whenever clock is not rising or clock is down. Okay. Then, the value will not. Uh, means, the value will be the same. The output won't change. Okay. Next question. That is the last question for today's video. We will be definitely doing more of this series. And in that, we'll be discussing more questions. Okay. So, the question is, what is a group of four cells in a K-map called? Option A, pair. Option B, quad. Option C, octet. Option D, octave. Correct answer is quad. So, if you draw a uh, flip-flop, sorry, uh, if you draw a K-map like this. So, this is a four variable K-map. Okay. So, if you are drawing a K-map like this. How will you represent the variables in a K-map? Okay, so I'm going to divide this four rows and four columns. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to uh, draw a four variable K-map in which I'm going to draw the values here like this will be 0, 0, this is 0, 1, this is 1, 1, 1, 0. Like that, you will represent 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, right? And the positions are 0, 1, 3, 2, right? Then 4, 5, 7, 6. Then after that, 8, 9, 11, 10, right? Then this one is 12. 13, 15 and 14, right? So, now if I'm going to put like, if I have like 1s here in 1, these 2, 5 and 7 if I have 1. And if I'm going to pair these 2, it's called a pair. Just like we say normally, this is called a pair, okay? And if there is 4 1s, we can actually group these 4 1s, right? And it is called a quad. This is a quad, Okay. And if there is 8 cells, and if you are going to group the 8 cells, it is called octet. Okay, so pair, quad and octet. So the correct answer for the question here is going to be option B, quad. If you want to learn more about KMAP, we have like two separate videos on KMAP. Please go and watch those videos. Actually, there is a lot of resources on electronics related topics in our channel. And most of them has very less views and I'm obvious that you have not watched it. Please watch those videos. It will be definitely useful. So that's all for today's video. We'll be coming back soon with another uh, part of competitive examination preparation of electronics related competitive exams like VSSE technical assistant or ISRO technical assistant. Please watch those videos. Please support the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.